Two great London Crosstown rivals which have contributed immensely to the Premier League's compelling narrative do battle this weekend. It's Arsenal up against Chelsea. My name is Benedict from Soccer Betting News. Stamford Bridge hasn't been the best place for Arsenal to visit in recent years. The last time the Gunners claimed a victory at Stamford Bridge was back in 2011 when Robin Van Persie's hat-trick led the Gunners to a 5-3 victory. I'm Jesse Nagel from Soccer Betting News. So Jesse, it's the London Derby. Everyone is excited. Chelsea, new signings, first of all. Um, the likes of Danny Drinkwater, Alvaro Morata, uh, Timo Bakayoko, are they yeah. better than the players that they've decided to let go of? Well, they haven't let go of Diego Costa, mm -hmm. but he seems to be on his way out eventually. You know, he's heavily linked with the move to Atletico Madrid. Mm -hmm. He's been linked with the move to China from last year, January. He's been linked with AC Milan. He's been linked with Europe's best clubs. Mm -hmm. Timo Bakayoko, he's been impressive since he played, since mm -hmm. he's made his day before Chelsea, but Nemanja Matic. For me, it's just miles ahead of him. I don't, I don't like to compare players, but Matic is just above a class. And then Danny Drinkwater, Danny Drinkwater was brought in to replace Nathaniel Chalab Chalabar, mm -hmm. now at Watford. Upgrade, yes, but £40 million, pounds, I'm not too sure. I mean, Alvaro Morata and Diego Costa, who do you choose? Definitely Diego Costa. But Diego Costa isn't seeing eye to eye with um, Antonio Conte. And Alvaro Morata came in, he's scoring goals, so... Why, why, why not take him? Yeah, let's see him try score, scoring with his feet. He scored three goals so far and they all have been with his head. All right, Arsenal, Arsene Wenger loses 4 0 to Liverpool and then this week he beats um, Bournemouth. Has he redeemed himself? Definitely not. Definitely not. Because, listen, this is a big game. We know what to expect from Arsenal in a mm -hmm. big game. They've lost, I think, in the last 10 years, it's been 8 2 to Manchester United. It's been 6 0 to Chelsea. It's been 6 3 to Man City. Mm -hmm. It's been 5 1 to Liverpool. It's been 4 0 to Liverpool. It keeps going on. We need change. It, it has to happen eventually. Mm. All right. Very important question. Mm -hmm. Daniel Beck was playing last week. Yeah. He scored a brace and he assisted. So now that um, Alexis Sanchez is back, do you put Daniel Beck on the bench or do you bench uh, Alexis Sanchez or do you bench Lacazette? What do you do there? I definitely don't bench Lacazette. Mm -hmm. he, he gave me. A lot of flashbacks of Thierry Henry against Bournemouth. I know Bournemouth are a small team and you mm -hmm. can't compare his performance against them, but I've got so many flashbacks of Henry. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, just to answer the question, Welbeck does make the bench for me. Welbeck, a person who scored two goals and, and, and provided an assist. It's and Alexis then this, Sanchez. this week you put him it's, on the bench. It's Alexis Sanchez. Definitely he has to be on the bench. What message are you sending to the dressing room? Because now are you saying it doesn't matter? I mean, how well you play. The, su the superstar is always going to be guaranteed a place in the starting eleven. Well, against the Premier League champions, it's the biggest team at the moment in England. You need to have your best eleven on the pitch at the time. Based on what? Form or class? I think class. But <laughs> current form? Yeah. The, no, I mean, it, it's definitely got to be class because Coutinho hasn't been playing mm -hmm. for Liverpool these past few weeks. Mm -hmm. Jorginho Van has been it, it, in great the, form. Liverpool didn't play him last week, and you know what happened to them? Which I, I don't understand why, because they fought for him to stay, and then they decided to just drop him from the squad. I'd definitely play uh, Daniel Beck. And also, he's a hard worker. He, he runs, he tracks back, he defends, and I know that Chelsea are going to be pressing us now. We, we, you want someone who's going to make those runs in behind. But Sanchez can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Sanchez can't do that, though. He can, but the, the, but yeah. the guy... Get, Gave Arsenal two goals and an assist last week. That's my argument. That's my point. The, what message are you sending to the dressing room? Are you saying no matter how well you play, as long as the superstar is there, he's always going to be guaranteed a place in the lineup. I know that he, uh, Sanchez came on and he, he played well. But this is last season's Arsenal player of the year that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not Granit Xhaka or Aaron Ramsey. This is Alexis Sanchez. Big teams are interested in him and it's no question why because he's one of the best players in the Premier League and one of the best players in the world. He, he should be in that lineup alongside Mesut Ozil and Alexandre Lacazette. All right, um, looking at the balance of play now, both teams, I mean Chelsea's new signings and then yeah. Arsenal having a great team up front, even though they shake it at the back, yeah. who do you think is going to win? Well, it's going to be the same old Arsenal on the weekend, I think. I'm expecting Chelsea to actually wipe the floor with them. I'm going for a 3-0 victory for Chelsea. Mm. That's a handicap, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, he says it's a 3-0 victory for Chelsea. I say. I mean, it's the, it's the London derby, so yeah. Chelsea might just manage to edge Arsenal out, but not 3 0. 3 0 is a bit too much. I think it could be so one sided that Arsenal will be lucky to score. I don't think they'll even get the goal against Chelsea's rock solid defence, who 
they will welcome uh, back Gary Cahill, who has been suspended. Mm, but you saw how they struggled against Leicester. Now imagine two one, and then Arsenal won convincingly against Bournemouth. So, mm. and they say during, I mean, if it's a derby, form goes out the window. So, but anything Arsenal's happen? record at Stamford Bridge doesn't bode too well for their chances. All right, that's what uh, we think. Uh, Jesse thinks it's a it's a convincing victory for Chelsea. He thinks they will drop Arsenal. I say it's a narrow victory for Chelsea. What do you think? For more soccer betting tips and previews, get yourself a copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch.